the organizers, the participants of the Waves 2024. I have been privileged to be part of this event. And let me introduce my topic, which is Vedic mean to solve any conflict or personal problem, Rig Vedic Mitra. I am Dr. Alek Perzashkevich from Minsk, Belarus. Various aspects of the religion and cosmology of the ancient people stay to be an object of scientific and philosophical researches for thousands of years, and still there arise many questions. The reason for this longevity probably lies out in the features of those sources that make the world cultural heritage. In the present case, we are talking about one of the ancient Indian sacred books of the Vedas, particularly about the Rig Veda. Now, regarding the topic of this conference, here we put only one of the gods mentioned there under our review. The one is Mitra, whose name sometimes can be used as the common word for a friend or an assistant. If the Mitanni text definitely indicate the presence of Mitra, and thus the people who believed in him, then both the Rig Veda and the Vesta provide incomparably more material. Mitra was obviously a common god of all ancient peoples who had considered themselves as Aryans, as evidenced by the presence of that name in the Rig Veda, in Mitanni text, and in Vesta. Furthermore, most of contemporary researchers agree that at least at some period, Mitra was a solar deity. Among the Rigvedic Aryans, Mitra usually appeared as a paired deity along with Varuna. In the present case, the dual appearance makes a separate case because, firstly, paired deities were typical for the Rigveda as proved by many researchers. And secondly, we have no reason to believe that in Mitra Varuna pair, there was no overlap of functions and symbolism of one god on the other. This is why the present paper is interested in Mitra alone in his Rigvedic presentation only. As an independent single deity, Mitra obtained only one hymn in the Rigveda, the 59th hymn of the third mandala. However, before proceeding with the analysis of this text, it seems appropriate to put ahead a few our preliminary considerations. Several etymologies have been proposed for the word Mitra. Mitra comes from the root mi, with the meaning you can see here. Mitra comes from the root minida, the law of the show of action. Mitra comes from the root mi, you can see the meaning. And Mitra comes from two roots, midi and du. Whatever you think about it, there are the versions that can be proposed and they were proposed with the academic uh, scholars. The presenter considers that semantically Mitra is the name of the corresponding option formed with the help of suffix tra. In this case, it forms a Mitra name designed by the root specified or the one who performs this action. In this case, it forms a masculine name which makes our particular interest here. Therefore, the second case, I mean the masculine case, for Mitra can mean one, a one who protects from destruction, a one who loves or demonstrates his affection, a one who exudes love, a one who feels with something while he's moving. Most of the recent experts adhere to the first opinion as the most probable, including the author of the present paper, sometimes tracing the root, Sanskrit verbal root me to the common Indo-European construction me to exchange the change. Thus, it gives us some reason to see his original protective, protective function here, at least interchanging. Considering the above, let us move directly to our textual analysis uh, of the only Rigvedic hymn dedicated directly to Mitra, uh, which we have already mentioned, means a Rigveda 359. First two shlakas you can see here with my translation show 
as the connection between Mitra and othering people and supporting them. And which is also important, piercing of the entire uh, surrounding, the entire world. And it gives us some reason to think about what is the function of like that? What is the thing he pierces with what? With the world. The second example is um, the function of Mitra, who is able to make people invincible, unkillable, uh, without hardships. And uh, well, this means that he is really helping subjects. Uh, the next two shlokas again show us that he is deprived of suffering and it means that it was important for those who are um, addressing to him, who were addressing to him with this text, with this hymn. And uh, here we also see his connection to Adityas uh, when we're talking about his origin. And um, this gives us first good evidence that he was connected to the light. And the fourth shlaka we have here, again, demonstrates us the uh, capacity of Mitra, his facility to give people favor, happiness, and joy. Again, uh, the next two shlokas show us that he ordering, he was ordering people, he was Aditya, means again came from Aditi, and it means that it was not occasional thing. And here we also see that he helps people, he encourages them, and he's very friendly. But the last three ones, Again, give us reason to see that he created the desired pleasures for people, and it might be the reason why they used this him to address him directly, not only for pleasures, just for whatever pleasures they were, uh, they, they asked for, whatever pleasures they expected. Uh, we can guess from the previous text what was in reality those, what were in reality those pleasures. Let me conclude something. Mitra was the object of worship for the creators of the Rig Veda. Those people considered him as a ruler, asked for support and make sacrifices according to established proof. By his own reason, Mitra belonged to Odityas, the children of Aditi, and thus probably came from the goddess of heavenly light, and this light connection is extremely of extremely important. In the hymn revised, Mitra is called as the god of the Deva class, which indicates his genetic connection to the heavenly light again, but from the different angle. Deva comes from the deep, and then with the meaning you can see here. Thus, this distinguishes him from the Mitra of the pair of Mitra Varuna, where he can act as Asura both with Varuna. They both can act, or as Asura or as Deva. But anyway, Asura class is different from Deva, and that's why the Dvandva, so-called the pair, is not the case we should <clears throat> regard when we are talking about Mitra and Vigveda himself. Mitra acts as Dhyumna here again, the brilliance, which again indicates his light essence. This is a set evidence. Mitra's effectiveness to take any trouble and conflict off might hold its function in his luminosity and universal presence. And again, we are talking about the luminosity and universal presence and the function that allows him to, make, to be effective towards the people requests. Mitra's multiple mentions and invocation is putting the people to order as bringing them to wellness and prosperity, as taking away of troubles and problems is quite evident in this hymn. It gives us all reasons to say that addressing to Mitra was those people's effective mean 
to solve any personal conflict or problem. You know, they were like to Mitra to do it, and they were sure that he was he would be able to do it. Let me say uh, something as the final conclusion. Mitra ex exuded light or radiance, the bearer of which he had been. For those people, that was a sign of cosmological creativity and a positive principle. The immediate brilliance radiance can well be considered as the connecting or ordering principle, which is one of the options for the well-known creation of cosmos from chaos with the help of light. Mitra watched over people, helped them and put them in order. It was precisely the quality that founded uh, the basis of the, for the once widespread understanding of the regretic word Mitra not as the name of God, but as the common notion denoting the concept of a friend. And again, when we are talking about the light connection, means that the friend and the light uh, connect, are connected to each other. It is obvious that a friend or a helper was an indication of some actually recognized functions of Mitra, but it was a further extension of his original meaning of the name regarding that light brings wellness. Uh, wellness is important. And the one who can bring it uh, should be the uh, one, the subject, to be addressed. And this address allows people to get something good, like benefit or profit. And that makes the one who delivered it a friend. And again, light is the initial position, and the uh, friend is the result of this light spreading over people. Thank you very much, and wish you all the best.